this morning. We're getting ready to pull out from Williams, Arizona. We're gonna head up to Page and then maybe cut over to Kanab, Utah. Work our way to Bryce. You ready to go, babe? I am so ready to go and see some new scenery. All right, so we're at the Love, right here at the Williams exit. Yes, Shirley. Two dollars and seventy-eight cents for uh, diesel. I wonder what you paid for. But you uh, uh, when we filled up two days ago, it was a dollar thirty-five for us using our fuel card. So that's yeah, fantastic. We, that fuel card saved us almost half the price. It went from uh, from seventy-one to thirty-four. Yep. That's pretty good. Two dollars and thirty-five cents for unleaded. This is uh, getting towards the end of April. So gas and fuel prices are coming down. They're really low in the Midwest and stuff like that, but up out here, I don't know, they're still too expensive. But anyway, we got to get on the road. We're filling up with water, dumping our tanks, and getting Diesel. ready so we can go up and do some boondocking again, maybe a couple weeks or a week, and we'll take off. Yep. Let's see some new places. All right, here we go. Oh, the mountains sure are pretty up here by Flagstaff. This is the San Francisco mountain range. San Francisco Peaks and the tallest peak in here would be Humphreys Peak. So we're traveling eastbound on Interstate 40, just coming up here to Flagstaff, the junction of I-17. 70 degrees today. It's going to start getting warmer this afternoon, but we're just going to enjoy the drive up. We'll have a lot more views to show you. We got our pine trees. And I hope everybody's safe out there. Well, where are we at now? Page, Arizona. <laughs> we over here, that'd be Lake Powell in the Colorado River. That's Glen Canyon Dam right there. And the Colorado River goes that way all the way down where we were earlier this year down by Yuma so this is this lake here is very cool that's Waweep Marina way down there where all the big houseboats and everything that people love to get on houseboats and and go up this lake this lake goes forever it's a big big lake but I tell you what you look at this parking lot <laughs> when's the last time you've seen this Last time we were here, you could barely find a parking spot. That's true. But they have really, so what was it, four years ago, Kim? Four? Five. Five years ago since we've been here. And they have really built up the Horseshoe Bend area. They put a whole big parking lot in there. Um, and they got tours up there now where it was free before. I think now it costs $10 a car load or $10 a person. I don't know what it is anymore. But... Uh, Man, they built a whole bunch of hotels. There is a Walmart here. There's RV parks here. I don't know about boondocking. We haven't looked into boondocking here. But it's a great little place to stop uh, coming up from Flagstaff. Um, Kanab is farther up that way, and we'll be headed that way on Highway 89. Actually, this is the first place we did our very first video. Yep. <laughs> our very uh, first video, America. you saw us on the uh, picnic <laughs> table, sitting outside our Class A. Yep. yep. Well, it was the very first video we we uh, we did. It was kind it of was. an introduction because we did uh, Houston and San Antonio before that. We just didn't put them up. That, that was our true. first sit down saying <laughs> who we are and everything. That's our first one that shows. So if you want to see some really weird video, go back. And look at our first video that we've ever done. It's our funny. oldest video. I count how many words I say. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it was fun. But uh, here we are. We're out uh, doing our thing, our RVing. Uh, the coronavirus is not stopping us. We've basically been self quarantined for the last three months. We dash into a Walmart every now and then. Otherwise, we just stay out amongst ourselves. So, hey. This is fantastic. Another great day out here. It's about uh, 80 degrees here in Page, about 12 o'clock. It's supposed to get up to 85, 87. But we're going to head our way up Kanab and then go all the way up to Bryce Candy, where it's a lot cooler. 
So we're going to stop here a little bit, exercise the dogs, and uh, maybe get a snack. And then we're headed back up the road. So we'll see you up that way. Long ways down. Colorado River. Glen Canyon Dam. Lake Powell. This is the big watershed reservoir they did way back when. But that lake is still low, low, low. Always has been for the longest time. One of America's projects that they did back in the day. Can you just imagine building that back in the day? Mm. It's a nice little visitor's area here. Of course, it's all closed. But you can still walk around the outside of it. Very nice spot. Very nice stop to get out and relax. This is one of the turbines up here. They generate uh, power through the turbines down there when they let the water through. One of the main power supplies around here. The Glen Canyon Field Division, Upper Colorado Regional or Region, Bureau of Reclamation. Colorado River Storage Project. Stainless steel, folks. No smoking, no pets in the building, no guns, no knives, no food. Only bottled water and clear containers are allowed. All right, let's get further down the road.